How was... many films have you seen while you're here? Oh, too many. But like twenty? Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm close to five minutes, guys. I need everything. Come on, man. I can get because... What's your favorite film so far? Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Ik sprak vandaag met de hoofdrolspelers van The Killing of a Sacred Deer. De nieuwe film van de Griek Jorgos Lantimos, die we nog kennen van de komisch absurdistische drama's Dogtooth en The Lobster. The Killing of a Sacred Deer is even absurdistisch, maar heeft ook kenmerken van het horrorgenre. Hoofdpersonage Steven, gespeeld door Colin Farrell, krijgt namelijk te maken met de jonge Martin. En die Martin die is onlangs zijn vader verloren en die lijkt in Steven wel een goed alternatief te zien. Waarom dat zo is, dat ontdekken we pas halverwege. En dan zien we ook dat die jonge Martin een stuk gevaarlijker is dan we op het eerste gezicht zouden denken. If I had hair on my chest and belly, how would you attach these? We'd shave the hair off first. How long does it take for the hair to grow back? I don't know. About a month, I suppose. Your son told me that you've got lots of hair under your arms, three times more than I do. And that you've got a very hairy back and a very hairy belly. I probably do have a little more hair than you do because I'm older than you. But soon you'll have more hair too. It's all down to hormones. Can you show me, please? Can you take off your shirt and show me, please? Please. Okay, you do have more hair than I do, but not three times more. Lantimos, he doesn't like to explain much to yeah, his yeah. actors. Is that refreshing or frustrating? It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I, I don't know if it's either. Again, you know, you, you, you can't really answer even a question like that when you're referring to him. It's kind of, it's, it's refreshing, it's liberating, it's a little bit unnerving. You feel a little bit lost in it, but through feeling a little bit lost or uncertain, you find some truth that he maybe is looking for. and. You know, I, 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 there's so much clarity in the scripts, the two scripts that I've read that he and Athena's wrote. Not to say that you're clear on exactly what's going on, yeah. but there is so much decisiveness in what they have committed to paper in script that it allows you as a performer, I think, to not be that decisive. I mean, it may not seem like that. I mean, you may look at his performance or Nicole's or whatever and say, wow, that's, it's focused. It's yeah, all that stuff, and you'd be right. But in the doing of it, I don't know about you, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like that. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like you're reaching for anything. It doesn't feel like you have to hit a particular moment or a particular note. All the notes and all the moments are there, like a piece of music. You're just yeah. trying to get beneath it. And But is he clear in his directing then? He's Sometimes. simple and precise. Very yeah. specific, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Uh, example of precise, do this, uh, do it. Faster, slower, yeah. or stop moving so much, Mary. Yeah. Uh, slower and <laughs> stop moving so much. I can see why uh, where yeah. that's coming from. Was it difficult to, to adapt to his tone? <laughs> um, no, it was great to work. <laughs> it was difficult. It was great to work like with someone like that, you know. <laughs> it was though. It was like you know, it was, um, you know, because usually you can work with directors and every director has their own way and every actor has their own way. So I'm not going to say this is the right way or whatever, but. You work with so many directors that kind of do the same thing, and they, where was he coming from? What's he going for next? Like you know, and all this, there was delve deep like that. into the shit. Yeah, and it, it, you go in then with, 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 you go in with a, a false feeling then, and you go in with a, you know, because you're thinking of it, and you're you're in your own head, and this is just like literally say the lines and. The magic happens then. And inevitably, if you do what you're talking about, you're imposing your own will on something. Yeah. And Yorgos isn't hiring you for your will. You know what I mean? He doesn't know what your will is. We don't know each other that well when we start yeah. a film. So you, you just you kind of stay away from that stuff, and it's it's all there. Just try and get beneath it, you know? Yeah. But you know, because of the lobster, and I remember you saying something about uh, the auditioning. It was a Skype interview, which yeah. lasted an hour, and he said about seven words or something? Maybe eight, maybe nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we, we talk, I think we did talk for an hour and 15 or an hour and 25 or something, and we did not say much, honest to God. 
there were two or three minute stretches where we were both looking at the camera and then <laughs> looking at yeah it was weird man and, th <laughs> and this time was better right I know him a little bit, but you know, Jorgis, I mean, I could know him 40 years and not fully know him, you know? Yeah, and maybe yeah. that's the same way with all of us. We just give, some people give another person the illusion that they know the person more. You know, I may allow somebody to think they know me more than they actually do. Jorgis doesn't bother with that kind of social no, artifice. You know, he's a very honest man. So we go for refreshing, probably. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. a very honest man, absolutely. Yeah, I would say so. Martin, he... Martin's favorite film is, is Groundhog Day. Yeah. If you two had again, I don't know why and how. <laughs> Yorgos never explained. I think there and might be an explanation in my question because if you have eternity to better yourself, this what, is what, what, what would be top on the list? What would I put on the list? Yeah, you, top of your list. If you had eternity to better, you, you know Groundhog Day, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, to not die. <laughs> you have eternity not that. to die, okay. Yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think what he's really saying is, if I may interpret. <laughs> if I, may I confused interpret, myself. Yeah. Eternity, is, I don't know. Like, what is eternity? Not just not to die, but to learn to really live. Yeah. Me and my mom thought it'd be nice if you came by for dinner tonight. We could watch her as a movie. Does eight sound good for you? That's very kind of you, but I just can't make it tonight. I need to be at home. Can't you get away for a couple of hours? I can't. No. Some other time. My mom's going to be upset. Can I tell you a secret? Don't tell her I told you. I think she I think she likes you. I mean, she's attracted to you. But she says that's not true, but it is, I'm sure. And to be honest, I think you're perfect for each other. You'd make a great couple. It is very deadpan and it's very very contained, so is, is that difficult to master? Oh, I feel like I've mastered any, I, there's no mastering, you know, it's no. not, there is no mastering in doing this as a job, it's so fluid and it's so... Always learning. It's and so, yeah, it's... It, it's is that it's, the appeal? It's, not, it's, it's the best thing about the job for me is, is that it's not empirical, you know, it's not a science. I have a deep respect for the sciences and, and sciences work in a philosophically classical sense you see things there is structure there is form there is arithmetic with what we do yeah I don't know what the hell we do you know it's glorified make-believe and it's dress up for a living but there's no right or wrong way to do it so there's no mastering of it having said that in answer to your question the level of containment that Yorgos doesn't specifically ask you for but having seen Dogtooth and Alps yeah, you realize yeah. that his characters mm. in the films they they they're not as emotionally accessible as people are in typical societies. In most cultures around the world, whether it's Sub-Saharan Africa or Dublin or Los Angeles, we, we're emotional creatures. Yeah. You know, we're, some nations are known for being a little bit more intellectual and a little bit more mannered and some are very, the Irish are very emotional. We cry and drink and sing and all that jazz. But in Yorgos' world, it's very, very contained. And that allows the unusualness and the awkwardness of the situations to yeah. live where they should live and allows the audience to then feel. We're not, again, he's such a generous filmmaker, he's trying not to tell the audience what they should feel or think about anything. Yeah, I love that. He's just presenting a set of circumstances and a set of provocations and he's saying... There's so many, like, you know, people have come I up think. and like, there's some see it this way, some see it that way and I yeah. love that, you know? It's take what you want from yeah. it. Like, like a, so what did you take away from it? You walked into I still that one. Don't, yeah. I still don't know. Yeah. Like, you know, it's, you I wrote a question mark there a while ago, yeah. and it's because I don't have a fucking clue. Yeah. <laughs> but you've seen the film here for the first time, or did you yeah, see it before? Yeah, first time. So what, what does that do to, to an actor to see? It's made me think a lot, you know, about just fucking <laughs> humans. Yeah, I found it very shocking. Yeah. If I can say that while being in it. I did, I found it very shocking. It's yeah. made me think that, Progressively yeah, just, just as you said, mm -hmm. like, you know, I think we all, it's, it's life as an act, isn't it? We're all acting on life. That's it. Like, think about it later, because yeah. we're all, the guys one, we're all only one event away from tragedy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. On that note, <laughs> I'll say goodbye. <laughs> you want to see more of our videos? Visit our channel. <laughs>